Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I, my doubt is, in this live session, I have seen nearly six to seven non-Muslim brothers, they are accepting this Shahada, right? In front of you. And they have been, you have been making them to read the Shahada. Okay? Now they were accepting. It means they are getting into the Islam education school. Okay? Then after, they were not practicing. So what would be the final result if they were accepting the Shahada, then after there is no practice. It means proper practice. So what would be the, the final result at the last day of judgment for them? Whether the Allah is going to punish them without practicing, you have just, uh, in front of Jack and Nahak, you have uh, accepted the Islam's La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. So this question may be raised, I think so. Right? The brother asked a very good question that he has seen about seven or eight people accepting Islam. Yeah. I think there are seven or eight. First was four, I think there were eight. Eight people who accepted Islam. Yeah. And they said the Shahada, what if they don't practice? Yeah. Brother, why are you being a pessimist? Be optimist. What if they practice? La ilaha illallah, no. Muhammad Rasulullah. No, I am asking the question. Sorry? I that am. I am telling you. Okay. Why are you a pessimist? Pessimist means? Sorry? A person. Pessimist. Do you know the meaning of pessimist? No, sorry. You just pessimist means a person who thinks negative. Okay. Why don't be an optimist? Okay. You should say, what if they practice Islam? Inshallah, they'll practice Islam. Okay. Coming to your question. What if someone takes the shahada in front of me? Taking shahada in the front of me is no benefit. Yeah. Whether you take in front of me, behind me, taking shahada is important. If you take in front of Dr. Zakir Naik, no extra marks. Okay. Dr. Zakir Naik, zero in Islam. Okay. Taking is important. Whether in front of me or in front of you, no problem. Point number one. Point number two, that if they practice Islam, inshallah they'll go to Jannah, without doubt. What if they don't practice Islam? Chances are how much? Theory of probability, 50-50, correct? Okay, yeah. 50-50, na? Yeah, 50-50. Toss a coin, yes or no, 50-50. Hypothetically, they don't practice Islam. Okay. If they practice 50% Jannah, yeah, 50% done. 50% Jannah also, Alhamdulillah. Better okay. than going to Jannah. Point okay. number one. I'm coming to your question, wait. Maximum, minimum chance is 50. So I'm telling, if this person doesn't take Shada, if you don't take Shada, okay. what will happen? Jannah. If you take 50%, 50% Jannah. You know the Quran says on the day of judgment, the non-Muslim will say, we would not mind giving you the full wealth of this world, give us Jannah. Jannah is more valuable than the full world. Correct? Yeah. No, full world you are getting 50%. What a great deal. Right or wrong? Right. If I tell you I'll give you a million dollar, right. what do you do? You stay awake full night, no? <laughs> million dollar, six crore rupees, seven crore. Yeah. What will you do? You stay awake full night, no? Yeah. So? This is much more than billions and trillions of dollars. Now coming to your question. If the person practice Islam 50%, inshallah go to Jannah. If he doesn't practice, if the person doesn't practice yet, if he does not do shirk, and if he believes there is one God, okay. and if he believes Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God yet, high chances he will go, but he will go late. If he doesn't practice well, he will go to hell first. Maybe it's still punishment. But if he doesn't do shirk, Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 48, and Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 116, if Allah wishes, he may forgive any sin, but the sin of shirk, he will never forgive. That means, if he accepts Islam, he drinks alcohol, and he gambles, and he cheats, maybe little days he'll go to hell, get some punishment. Maybe God will take him out and put him in hell after that. Other people who do shirk, 100% forever in Nar, in hell. Yet it's a good deal, right or wrong? Yeah, right, sir. So, do you believe there's one God? Yeah. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger yeah. of God? Yes? Yeah. Would you like to say the Shada? But, but, sir, one second. One second. But you have to believe in it, huh? Yes, if sir. you say only to fool me, wait, wait, wait. Okay. If someone says, okay, I love the Rasulullah, he doesn't believe. God knows, I will not know. God knows, then no Jannah. Okay. You actually have to believe there's one God. You actually have to believe idol worship is wrong. See, that's the reason a brother, he said, he wants to accept Islam, correct? Yeah. And then he said that, I believe Jesus is God. I didn't give him shahada. Did you notice that? Yeah. Ah, that means I'm not just counting. 
because he said no i believe jesus is god okay jesus is god that means you cannot become a muslim even if you give me a million dollar i will not give him shahada correct yeah that means i'm not just i'm listening now if someone cheats me and tells me a lie allah allah i cannot go into his heart and check okay i so you have to really believe there's one god you have to believe that idol worship is wrong you have to believe that prophet muhammad is the messenger then if you don't follow yet there are chances you go to jannah good bargain there are many muslims who are doing wrong things yeah but they are not good muslims maybe they will never enter jannah i don't know allah wallam but they can yet go but if you die as a mushrik if you die doing shirk 100% help i no option at all and one more thing sir you have informed us just before the session uh, one of my <laughs> non muslim brother has uh, speak to you that you have asked the question him in our vedas it was mentioned that the prophet muhammad will be coming back right so he had accepted that yes i accept that our vedas uh, my our vedas is accepting the thing so you told that if you are accept the thing it means that you are accepting that uh, allah is one it, it means the god is one correct. and the muhammad prophet is the one only messenger correct so then after you have told that if you are accepting the same thing then i am and you are the same one correct right basic thing the same not basic totally thing. right correct okay if we two are same then what there is a difference between worshiping in that or uh, in that way and worshiping ah, in this way what is the difference very good question now many hindus they say believe in veda but they don't know prophet muhammad is mentioned in the veda correct right okay so actually they are not practicing hindus the okay. many christians say i love jesus i love jesus more than them i'm circumcised they are not circumcised jesus said don't have alcohol peace be bad don't have alcohol they have alcohol the bible says don't have pork i don't have pork they have pork i am more christian than the christian themselves i love jesus peace be upon him they all fake all fake right or wrong now i told you i am a hindu yes. hindu means coming from the land of indus valley geographical definition yes. right or wrong right or right not a religious definition yeah religion is just another term now i tell them that why don't you believe your veda i don't agree i don't agree everything of the veda to be the word of god but the hindu believes so i tell let us agree what's coming Quran says believe in one god veda says believe in one god Quran says don't do idol worship veda says don't do idol worship Quran says believe in prophet muhammad veda says let us agree now previously you were a hindu not knowing that veda says believe in prophet muhammad now you know now we are together in one part main part okay now once you say you believe prophet muhammad is a messenger you have to follow the message right or wrong right but If, one more thing no no so when you believe in the message what is the message Quran. Right or wrong? Right. So indirectly, I'm telling them your Veda is telling come close to Quran. Your Bible is telling come close to Quran. Right or wrong? Right. I'm not criticizing the Veda. I'm not criticizing. I can, I can give a lecture if my son gave for one or ten minutes similarities. I can give five hours on dissimilarities, differences. If I can give a lecture three hours on similarity between Islam and Hinduism, I can give five hours on differences between Islam and Hinduism. But I don't want to create fight. I love my Hindu brothers. I love my Christian brothers. Okay. That the reason people hear my talk, and many of them accept. Some of them don't like me. Okay. But did I love them? Yeah. So brother, fine sir. The thing is. Right now I can't uh, read the Shada because I am getting the teachings about the Quran from three months since I have been reading this Quran. Very good. With one of my colleagues, two of them are uh, right now they are here. Mm. So I want to fulfill the total Quran. Then after I will. Total Quran you cannot fulfill, brother. No, it means no I, Muslim I can say I, I follow hundred percent. Even I cannot say I am a, I am a human being. Hundred percent. I am not saying that I want to one, fulfill Quran. I want one. to read it completely. I want yeah. to know every point. what it has been mentioned so how long will you live how long how long will you live i can't tell you the uh, correct one suppose right? if i tell you if i tell you there is a deal okay. of 1 million dollar tell okay. me yes or no within 1 hour what will you do what will you do for life you not say, let me do research for 1 month 1 hour yes or no million dollar gone what will this is not million dollar this is trillion of dollars okay 
and see you. I don't know how long will I live. I don't know whether I'll go back to Bombay or not. Correct? Yeah, right. Even you don't know. Once you're convinced, accept it. If you like this school, is good. You enter the school. You don't say I'll do research. What research? By the time you grow old, you will not be able to enter the school. Correct? Then right. you have to go to university. By the three months, three months. Without act, it means without any fulfillment about any. No, you, two. No, two fulfillment. No, no, that is not. Two I'm not fulfillment speaking about of that type of fulfillment. Okay. Two you fulfillment have already informed. Of, you just check with the Islam. What is the Islam? I want to understand what type. What was mentioned? What is there inside? See, once you accept in these two things, you do tell, you know hundred things about Islam. You follow eighty and don't follow twenty, no problem. Okay, it's not it's not a problem for me to reach her. You know, there was a girl in Japan. Okay. There was a girl in Japan, and she told me, Brother Zakir, I cannot give up pork. I said, Why? Well, I love it. Can you give up alcohol? She says yes. She was wearing a scarf. I said, Why wearing a scarf? No, my Muslim friend wear a scarf. I like it. Do you believe in one God? She said yes. Do you believe in pork? She said yes. I said, give the shahada, continue eating pork. People were shocked. I said, maybe after two weeks you'll stop. Maybe after two months you'll stop. Maybe after two years you stop. Even if she doesn't stop, yet she can go to Jannah or not. There are many Muslims who are having alcohol. Drinking alcohol is a bigger sin than having pork. Right or wrong? Right. This is hikmah. At least the shirk is not there in her life. I will not say no, no, unless you don't have, unless you don't stop eating pork, you can't give the shada. Fool. Right or wrong? Right. And what research you want to do? Yes, get convinced. Yeah, convinced. But one more thing. Yes. Uh, but. Yeah, but. Lakin, Lakin, you would. Lakin, but is a big question. Yes, brother. I see what I Sanatana Dharm ke baare mein jana hai mere ko. Jana na, no problem. I want to know what the thing is. As per the Quran, 1400 years since it means the Quran was in existence. Yes. So what about the Sanatana Dharm? Sanatana Dharm, according to Swami Vivekananda, the present Veda that you have is a very small percentage. Most of the Vedas have been lost. Okay. They do not know when exactly the Veda came into existence. Okay. Who did it come to? Yet they believe it is the word of God. Most of the scholars say the Veda is 4000 years old. But according to Swami Dhyan and Saraswati, he said the Veda is 1310 million years old. How many? 1310 million years old. But most of the scholars say 4000. Now when you do research, you come to know, yet today it is not there in the pure form. There is no book on the face of the earth which is in 100% pure form besides the Quran. You put it to the test of science, all the other religious scripture will fail. You put the Bible to the test of science, it will fail miserably. You put the Veda to the test of science, it will fail. Quran is the only religious book on the face of the earth, which is yet there in its pure form for the last 1400 years. But what was your opinion regarding this? It means how many years it was the existence, Sanatana Dharam? Sanatana Dharam, I lead from the scholars of Hinduism. No, it they was the right thing, but you have a slight knowledge. Yes. Because why I was asking this question yes. is... Sanatar Dham is closer to Islam than the other Hinduism. Yeah. Sanatar Dham is much more closer to Islam. It's a more pure form of Hinduism than the other religion. Other sect, sorry. Because, I agree with you. Because that, uh, why I have raised this question is, if you go with India, most of the them you will be having Hindus. Okay, Muslim yes. percentage is less compared yes. to Hindus. Yes. If the Sanatan Dham is having large extens existence, then this uh, uh, Islam, it may be, I think this would be the oldest one. If that is your logic in that the world, the if that asking. is your logic in the yeah. world, there are more Muslims or Hindus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is also anyway, the right thing, in Islam, majority doesn't win. In Islam, majority doesn't win. Suppose I am alone Muslim and if there are thousand Hindus around me, that doesn't mean they are right. No, this no. is a wrong logic. Quran says in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 81, it's mentioned in the Quran, Vakul ja al batil, inna la batil When truth is heard like in falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. So never does it mean that majority wins. Majority is not right, what is haq is correct. Do you understand? 
yeah. this logic that majority win, I, it will benefit me. Because there are more Muslims in the world than this. And you are living in Qatar. In Qatar also there are more Muslims, correct? Yeah. In Islam, majority doesn't win. You check it with reason. Check it with logic. Check it with your heart and you'll come to know which is true. Sure. Okay, thank you. So yet you're not prepared. <laughs> the moment already when I started, I have read the Kalma. Sorry? The moment when I have started... I know, I know Quran. you said the Kalma, but maybe you said it just for reading. See, okay, one now. is saying with conviction, one is just reading and you read it. If you read it, I know you read it. One is with conviction, yes, believing there's one God, believing Prophet Muhammad. That is the real thing. Reading like that Kalma, is, you read very fast. Okay, I am ready to read. Okay, mashallah. You believe there's one God? Yeah. And you believe idol worship is wrong? Yeah. And you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah? Yes. Is anyone forcing you to access Islam? No. Are you doing out of your own free will? No. Are you doing out of your own free will? Sorry? Are you doing it out of your own free will? Yes, yes. Sorry. Okay. I'll say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abuhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God but Allah. There is no God but Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Prophet Muhammad. That Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. MashaAllah. We become Muslim and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he make you strong. Brother, I pray to Allah that may he make you strong and inshallah I feel you will be amongst the strongest. Thank you. Thank you. Because you know, if it's difficult, it's strong. And I pray to Allah that may He make you guide other people to the truth. May you go to Jannah. Thank you. Thank you very much.